Hello guys, um, it's currently nearly half past 11 on Wednesday evening um, and I've just had two shows today. I'm pretty sleepy, I'm myself a nice sort of calming tea, lavender and chamomile I think it is, yeah, um, You'll be seeing this tomorrow which is Thursday. Um, I didn't have time to record anything at home this morning as it was a pretty rush morning getting to work to do two shows so I thought I'd film this now um, and say hello. Um, thank you so much for all your comments about how you're enjoying the videos and stuff and how it's um, nice to get a vibe with the queens. That's essentially what I wanted to do. If you can hear some steam in the background, that's my fiance Josh ironing his shirt. He's, he doesn't want to be on the camera though. He's quite shy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you're all enjoying it. Um, yeah, today, so soon you'll see my journey to work, but it's the evening, so I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, so hope you're well, um, and I guess I shall see you soon. Bye! Hi guys, um, we've just got, well, we've just finished Lovely Ladies and I've come upstairs to get ready for my cassette plot. Um, I've had a few of you ask me about um, my two different colour wigs. Um, I think most of you have seen my blonde one on these videos. Um, and this is my slightly darker one. There's no real reason behind this. Everyone keeps trying to analyse it and say, why does she have a dark for matinees and why is she blonde for the evening? Um, essentially, during the designing process, um, they thought it might be nice if I was lighter. Um, this is, for a cassette wig, quite light anyway. Um, when the design team came to watch, they decided that they wanted me to be look a little bit more like me, and I'm naturally blonde. So that's how my other wig came to be. Um, we've named them. So this one is called Grace, and my other one's called Scarlet. Um, Grace is slightly shorter, and she's a lot more curly, and she's got a lot more hair, so she's quite full. Um, but she comes out on matinees and the blonde wig is on um, the evening performance so yeah that's the reason behind it really tell them why they named that why the name that so this one that was carrie telling me i don't mean to tell Sorry, you i'm just a voice in the she's a voice and um, the first one is named after grace kelly because when she first went on she was very very curly um so we called her grace kelly because she sort of looks she did look quite 50s and she's glorious um and scarlet is named after scarlet johansson because she's lovely and long and blonde that's been that's how we came up with it wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah it was you look like scarlet johansson in the prestige in the prestige that was it so yeah that's it um people sometimes don't like a blonde cassette and say why are you blonde um i think the show's been running for 30 years and i know people like to have it a certain way and and the tradition is to have a dark cassette but sometimes things slowly start to change we've had brown haired marius's blonde haired marius's blonde haired cassettes and brown, brown haired yeah brown, brown, brown haired eponies we do look like a blonde trio, don't we? We are. I mean, blondes do it better. So. <laughs> blondes have more fun. Um, so that, I hope that answers some of your questions because people do get angry about it, don't they? It's not our fault. We can't help it. We just put the wig on. We just get told what to do and what so, to wear. So we don't have a choice. People think we seem to have a choice, but we <laughs> don't. So this is how we are. I mean, so, for the first six months, I had a fringe because they told me I needed a fringe, and then they decided they didn't want a fringe, and I had no choice. See. This is what happens. So uh, um, I'll show you tonight with the blonde wig, but I think you guys have seen that. And then this is the brown. So yeah, we're gonna go get ready for Paris. We'll see you later. Goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, this, this is, is the, the Sills. Sil. Sil. This must be about episode 30. Episode yeah. 30 of the Sills. Yeah, pilot season. Yeah, pilot season. 
<laughs> but we're hoping to get transferred onto maybe ABC next year. Yeah. So yeah. I'm Courtney and I am currently um, Claude. This is my urchin character Claude. It's nice to meet you. Um, and what we best have lacked in the show, I think. Actually. Yeah. So I think we should win. Yeah, we probably should. Um, <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, we just spend our time running around, uh, like, sort of around. shouting at people and stealing their stuff and just generally like causing me. Yeah. You do a lot of running in the show, Actually, don't you? A lot you of running. We've had a lot of injuries. Yeah, we had to train for that. We ran to the back kick twice. Yeah, yeah ran to the back kick twice. We had to do I like... We had like two months of urchin training before. Yeah. <laughs> urchin school. Urchin school. Like, school. We had to go to urchin school. I learned to dive roll as well. Yeah. yeah. Courtney did have a massive epic fail and she like rolled. Well, epic on. fail or epic win? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right, introduce yourself. I'm Charlotte and I'm currently dressed as Philippe the Urchin. Yeah. yeah. My best buddy. Yeah. My main man. <laughs> main man. And I think we know who this is. Say hey. You're always so shifty on this camera. Look at those eyes. Hello. Oh, you know, here's our lovely um, orchestra. Um, I've just seen it at stage four. Go on, what's your name? What'd you play? Hi, Barry Clements, and I play bass trombone and tuba. Woo! I'm Tim, I play trumpet. Woo! John, clarinet. Tom, flute. <laughs> Got the giggles. <laughs> I'm Ian, I play the viola. I'm Andy, I drink coffee and play keyboards. Yay! These are the lovely gentlemen that make Lamia sound as marvellous it is. <laughs> Say goodbye guys! Bye guys! <laughs> <laughs>
Hi everyone! Hi, where's the camera? It's there! Here. Yeah. Hi everyone! <laughs> Introduce yourself. My name is Adam Beju uh, and tonight I am... Tonight uh, Matthew! Tonight Matthew! I'm gonna be! <laughs> I'm playing Jean Valjean. Um, I am the first cover um, and I'm very lucky enough to be on every Wednesday night at yeah. the minute. So yeah, it's all good. It's all so, good. Oh, I'm very low down. Yeah. Come on, come on. I'm just pouring myself a cup of tea. Bear with me one second. Um, she's in the executive chair as well. I know. I have to show you this instead. <laughs> wait. Um, wait. Tilt, 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 grab the iPad so you can actually see this okay. chair because this is hilarious. Oh, that's yeah. my finger. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, that. step into my office. <laughs> right. Enough. Okay, enough, Beijing. Enough. What are we doing? What um, are we talking about? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Oh, does that does that work? I think so. I have to need luck like this. Um, now, Beijing. Yes. I've had questions. Sorry. I mean, what is your favourite part to do in the show? What's my favourite part? As Valjean. As, as Valjean. Yeah, to act. Uh, literally the whole of the barricade scene. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry, everyone. We're balanced I on. What, I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's better. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Can we make a little feature of that? We should. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put it in slow mo. Um, um, yes. What is your favourite um, part of the show to do as Valjean? Do you know what? It, oh, it it chops and changes. Okay. I like the whole first ten minutes of the prologue. Yes. Because it, you have to tell such a big story in like ten minutes. But you're not like petrified every time before you go on. Yeah, a little bit. But as soon as you get out there, as soon as you hear them, dum, bum, dum, bum, it's all fine. And but then the barricade's good as well, because it's, you know, it's got the prayer in it. It's got the so, prayer. It does yeah. sing it beautifully. Thank you, babe. <laughs> um, another question I had mm. is, how do you control nerves? How to control nerves? Mm. Invite them in. Fishy. I know. That's lovely. I mean, that's really deep and spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I, prepared for that. No. I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> Invite the nerves. Invite What's the it nerves use in. then? What? what? Make, make yourself... Well, I normally just say, oh, hello nerves. Hello nerves. Hello nerves, yeah, I know you're there. Um, <laughs> no, I don't say that to them. Um, I know people do. But um, no, I... Yeah. They're not, they're not going to just go away like that, I don't think. But no. you, you have to... You have to work with them, and the best way is not to work against them. So yeah, true. use them a little bit. So I've had people um, say, "Do you? Do I still get nervous?" And mm. I get, I literally, I feel sick every time I'm just about to run on for, really? in my life. I stand in the wing, and I full of dread. But then, wow. in about twenty seconds, I'm fine. Yeah. So it's when the first word comes out, and it just rolls off. Your yeah. Tongue. If the first word doesn't come out, <laughs> <laughs> you're in trouble. You end up going. And then, 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 and then the other actor on stage with you just goes What? <laughs> what? This is a lovely dressing room, I've never really spent much time in here before It's really nice It's really nice Yeah. I mean you've got comfy nice. chairs Comfy chairs lie. and you could probably see A shower? A shower Ladies and gentlemen, this is your acting uh, I'm not called straight away So we've got a little bit These are my brushes that is a lot of brushes. That's a lot of brushes. These are to make these I'm wrinkles because basically it doesn't <laughs> actually look this old. This is all. Are they, are they fake? I'm 12, really. <laughs> <laughs> are I, they what? What fake? Those are, wrinkles. They, those lines. No, they're there really, but they're just. They're really, they're heightened. Either, heightened. But I can't do that with my eyebrows. <laughs> Can you move one than the other? No. You just That's did it. it. Well, This Hello. is Michael Rasley. He plays. What character do you play, please? Well, I play Montparnasse, but I also play um, Baharel, who's one of the students in the ABC Society. He's an unofficial student. He gets no lines, but what he does get is the most expensive piece of costume in the show. The most which expensive is this jacket. piece. I'm going to zoom in. It's very deep. I've just noticed the detail on here as well. Oh, How much is this costume worth? I can't tell you that. Yes, you can. Am I allowed to? Yeah, you can, it'll be fine. You say worth thousands, we'll say that. Let's say that. Uh, thousand. And yeah. look at the detail on it. So, when was this made? Um, in, in the period, I think. <laughs> really, by 40 Frenchmen <laughs> who worked day and night. 